Howdy peeps and welcome back to the channel on a sad day. Uh, not a good news video this one. Uh, you may be thinking it's looking quite dark in that tank. Well, the lights are off although on the LCD screen it actually looks quite bright. Excuse my legs. The reason for that is I was catching some molly fry yesterday which is a Saturday before Halloween weekend. Um, was, no, it was the Friday, I'm getting my days mixed up. And while I was doing that, I spotted something strange with one of the adult mollies. <sighs> yeah. So I pulled her out. And I was like, right, do a bit of research, figure out what it is. Turns out, Camelanus worms, the little red thready worm things coming out of the bum, or the vent to be more specific and technical mobile. Um, so yeah, sad. I have treated the tank with Isha NDX, so I watched the video it's basically as soon as I figured out what it was to see what was the best course of action. Uh, yes, thankfully had Isha NDX on on hand. Um, it's about the only way we can get Levamisol in the UK for fishy purposes. Anything else you got to buy is a goat deworm, a dog deworm, a pigeon wormer, that kind of thing. And working out doses is going to be a nightmare. No, nope. uh, turns out I didn't get all of the molly fry. Yeah, there's probably about another dozen or two kicking around in there. Um, so what I've decided to do is keep the lights off, reduce stress for the fish, and some medications are sensitive to light. Um, it will also help with the algae issue, because it is a bit of an algae farm in there at the moment. Um, the thing with a little amosol is it doesn't kill the worms, it only paralyzes them, which allows the fish to pass them and clears them out. Uh, but then you've got to get rid of the worms before they unparalyze, as it were. Which means you've got to vac the substrate now. While the Akaras are having a fight. There you go, a bit of lip locking going on. Um, yeah, they've got aggressive lately for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is take it as an opportunity. What I'm going to do is obviously gravel vacuuming and getting rid of any worms is going to be a nightmare with all those plants because you can't get to most of the substrate. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of the tank plant-wise, decor-wise, you know, rocks, wood, filters, all that stuff. Give everything a good clean. Really give the gravel a good vac to get as much out as I can. Hopefully all the worms, because it wasn't just the molly. Dwarfney on rainbows have got it as well. And probably every other fish in the tank has, to be honest, because some of the Tetras and Danios aren't looking too hot at the moment. Um, where it came in from, not sure. Pretty sure it didn't come in with the fish I was given. As the chap who had them, had them for years in the same tank and didn't have any problems. Now, if the fish had been around for donkey's years, they're healthy. Um, so it either came in with the mollies or with the red uh, dwarf neon rainbows. And my suspicion at the moment is the dwarf neon rainbows. Because I bought ten of them and eight of them died. And of all the fish in the tank, it's both the dwarf, both the rainbows are showing camelanus worms. I think one of the other mollies is as well. 
but from what I can see, yes, I've been staring at fish butts quite a lot the last day or two. What I can see, nobody else does appear to have obvious external signs. So, yeah, I know what I've got to do to fix things. Uh, <laughs> wish me luck. Hopefully, we don't lose anyone. And um, stay put. Stay tuned and I will post updates as and when things happen and I've got things to say. So, thanks for watching a rather sad video. Although hopefully with a positive outcome if I get round to actually rescaping and resorting the tank. Enjoy your hobby. Peace out. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. Rock on. Bye-bye. If I can find the off button.